Hey guys, what's up? This is Amazing Animal Adventures, and um, it's been raining all morning. Uh, I don't remember the date. It's Monday, like the last Monday of June. I don't remember the date, but last Monday of June. Anyway, it's been raining all day. Today is another herping episode. Um, I'm going to be going out right up as soon as the rain ends. Don't want to take the camera in the rain. As soon as the rain ends, I'm going to be going out. Um, after it rains, uh, it's a pretty good time to look for tree frogs and box turtles they like to come out if it's warm and raining at the same time so I might be able to catch some of them so we'll see so right now I'm just kind of walking through the forest I know that rainy days are a great time to find box turtles so I'm scanning for a domed shell of some kind. For the pattern that they have on their backs. It blends in well, but it's still distinctive. Also have my eyes peeled for anything that jumps, more frogs and whatnot. So what I have here is a little spring peeper. Tiny, tiny little frog. Really small little guy, but pretty cool too. an old road that goes through here. I don't know if you consider it a road. It's just all pebbles and gravel. It's overgrown with um, weeds now, but you can see how it carves away through the forest and then it curves over there to the right. Oh, I think I see something. Now yeah, look at this. We've got ourselves a little box table. Hello. Just a little guy. Very small. Here are the two little turtles I found. Now this one, I didn't have the camera rolling when I found this one, so sadly I don't have footage of that. But here's the little one that I found, one that I did get footage of. And these are both beautiful turtles. These are both eastern box turtles. Um, this one is a female, uh, because there's no concave on the bottom. Males have a concave. Also when I found her, her head was out, and there's no patterning on it. And uh, males have patterning on their heads. Females are just gray. Uh, this one is a baby. I don't know how old it is, but it looks like it's small enough to be hatchling. I'm not positive, but it could be. Um, as far as gender on this one, I'm not sure. I don't know if males are born with the concave or not. So, that could be something that comes with development. So, I don't know if there's a sure way to tell. But if they are born with the concave, then this one is also a female, because there's no concave. This one, actually, I'm kind of wondering about this one. Um... I don't know if you can see that, but on the edge of that shell there, it's all white. There's no um, 
So there's no coloring on it. it. So that looks like exposed bone, like after you dry out a shell or something. It doesn't look good. I'm wondering if that's shell rot. I've never seen shell rot in the turtle, so I don't know what it looks like. But I've heard a lot about it. I don't know if that's what that is or not. But it could be. Anyway, I don't think it's natural. I think it's some kind of uh, degenerative d disease. I'm not sure what it is, but something like that, I think. Here's another look at that white spot I was talking about. I don't think that's natural. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that's natural.